Praise God, bro. Had a grind and hustle hard because I wanted more than this. Mama get my ass in school, I wasn't out here flipping bricks. How I made it out the trenches, but I'm still living like shit. Really wanted more than this, really wanted more. Really wanted more. Really wanted more. What's up guys, it's your girl Bammy and I'm here with a story time in style. This is a new type of video I thought I'd just bring to my channel because I like giving y'all hair content but there's only so many things I can do to a wig so why not switch it up. Today's story is coming to you courtesy of Reddit and it's called My Husband Wants Me To Be A Mother To His Affair Child. Now this story is juicy, so sit back, relax, and let's get into it. I, 29F, and my husband, 44M, have been together for five years and married for two. I met him at the church I started going to when I moved cities to start my career. I work for an insurance company and he's a pastor. Okay, baby, I'm not a judge, but the pastor, first red flag. Not all men of God are actually bad, but mm, it's a red flag. I already know. I know we have a notable age gap. And there you have it. That's the second red flag. I'm not here to judge, but hey, 29, 44, that's pretty sizable. But he was always kind to me and made me feel special. And girl, that's how they get you. That's exactly how they get you. I'm not, I'm not judging, but that, that's exactly how they get you. Anyhow, a week ago, he came home and told me we needed to talk. He told me through tears that he had been having an affair. First off, why he crying now? He wasn't crying when he was cheating, so what are the tears for? Feels manipulative. With one of our community members, 34F, and that she had been pregnant with twins. Now I'm not gonna lie. A baby is one thing, but two is crazy. She had gone into labor. First off, you mean to tell me you didn't find out until she was in labor? Baby, that's three strikes. I'm sorry, story done, leave him. I don't even need to hear the rest. Leave him. She and one of the twins died and the other is in the NICU. Can we just take a moment to look at God? Let's just just lift up your eyes and look at God. Amen. Said we. Who the hell is we? We were not cheating. That was you, Mr. Pastor. So I don't know what the we is coming from. I'm pretty sure she don't speak French. This is written in English, so. Need to step up and that he wants me to turn my office into a nursery. Who office? That's what I want to know. Because that ain't shorty kid. So who office? And set up a cot in the room so we can take turns. I became distressed and told him I wanted some time to think. That I was not sure I wanted to do this. He told me that I had made a vow to him in marriage and that God had blessed us with a child. God blessed you, sir. This poor lady is just an innocent bystander in your sins. What you mean, us? Now there's an us. There was only you cheating. How is it an us now? That this is our cross to bear and that God will never give us something we cannot handle. I'm not gonna lie, that's why it's one baby and not two. But I digress. I told him that it seemed God had given her more than she could handle because she died. I, I, now, I'm not saying Shorty is right. But she's not wrong. She's not wrong at all. I know I should not have, but I was not thinking clearly. If you ask me, that was the pinnacle moment of clarity. But hey, who, who, hey, who am I? Who am I? He slapped me and told me that I needed to serve my husband. He's absolutely right. Yes. You need to serve him divorce papers. That's what you need to serve him. Because why is he putting his hand on you? We're up to red flag number four. I, I would have... I'm not judging... 
but there, there had been multiple signs to leave. That God had chosen me as this child's mother and I need to be his humble servant. I feel so strange. Yesterday, I cried so hard I threw up. This woman died, yet I feel bad for myself. And I'm going to be honest, you have every right to, sweetie. Don't let this man manipulate you into making you feel like you did something wrong. When he's the one who cheated. And he's a pastor. Like, baby, you should know better. You should know better. I feel so ugly. I wanted children and was saving for IVF because I am infertile. But now that I have a chance to have a child and I do not want it, I feel like I'd be robbing its mother's grave. I pray to God, but if I'm being honest, it's never felt like anyone was ever listening. I feel like I have truly seen my husband and he no longer looks kind. He looks his age and very tired. Girl, that clarity keep coming to you. This is the first green flag I've seen in this entire post. Kudos, kudos. I want to abandon him and the child. I'm only 29. I can start over. Yes, ma'am, you can. You are absolutely right. You can, yes. Two green flags. We're making a turnaround. Yes. I have a remote job. I can take a day off when he goes to the NICU, pack my essentials, and leave. Neither him nor the child deserve this. And although this is my circus, this is not my monkey. She is absolutely right. She did not start this, but she could end this. And y'all, that is the end of the post. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this type of content, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.